Sheena Morrell of Lloydminster, Alberta, farms with her husband and also works off the farm as an agronomist out of nearby Vermilion. Her business is called Sheena Soil Sampling, and it involves plenty of driving and taking soil samples, which until recently was done manually. And we always do, every fall and spring, we do soil samples with hand probes, and quite frankly, that's just a pain in the butt. So I was like, there's got to be an easier way. Um, so I did a little bit of research and came up with, with this. Uh, that was last September, and at the time that I found the probe and kind of had already bought it and bought my truck and stuff, there was a, um, a field tested positive for club root just south of Vermilion. Club root is a soil-borne disease often found in canola, one of the most important crops for prairie farmers. Once it's in a field, research has shown it can persist there for 20 years or more. Because it is so devastating to canola, and here in our area, um, our demographic, canola is definitely our cash crop. So if, if one of my customers got club root, you know, that would be the end of me and that would be the end of my soil sampling. But it, it just, because I do it for so many of our neighbors and our friends, you know, you just, you want to make sure you're doing your absolute best to not be the one that's spreading it. In an effort to keep them from spreading club root infested soil from one field to another, Sheena came up with a truck mounted invention to saturate the soil on her tires. She uses a 2% bleach cleaning solution, which is recommended by researchers for killing club root. The idea is to just make sure that your tires aren't completely loaded with a bunch of, of mud and dirt. Um, on my cleaning system, I also do have um, a wand that I can clean off with too if I need to, if it's really muddy. In the back of her truck, she carries a 200 gallon tank which holds the solution of bleach dissolved in water. Here's basically the pump is just tucked in here, right on the, right there. And it's just an electric pump and then it just pumps water from the from, it pulls from the bottom of the tank up to here. And then this hose is the one that feeds the main system along the body of the truck. So it goes actually through kind of like the, the body here, the box and underneath, and then it kind of follows the two body rails all the way up. And then it tees off it at the same spot for each tire. So it goes all the way to the front, tees off, comes back and tees off. The truck is equipped with four nozzles in total, one for each tire. She operates the tire spraying system from inside the cab, while the truck mounted soil probe is on a control which can be used either inside or outside the cab. I usually take the bucket off just because lots of dirt and stuff from the road can get in there, so sometimes I'll take that off in between fields. But before I go into a field, I rig it all up, make sure everything's good, and then I get into my truck so I don't contaminate my shoes. Um, again with the club route. So when I get into my truck, I turn the system on, I drive in about from the approach, I would say anywhere from 10 to 20 feet, depending on how long the approach is. To make sure she soaks down any soil on the truck that the nozzles can't reach, Sheena has her wand hooked up to a hose reel next to the bleach tank. It's long enough I can go around the whole truck. Um, I don't have it turned on, but basically I could spray any, I could spray the inside of the wheel wells, the mud flaps, that kind of thing. She says overall the club root control system has worked well for her, but there was some trial and error involved once the weather got colder. We had a few days that we couldn't go until later on in the day because, you know, the pump was froze up and that kind of thing, but once we got that sorted out, it works very well. Sometimes um, the, the arms that the nozzles are on just need a few a little adjustment just to make sure that it is hitting the tire correctly but other than that it's really low maintenance and there's truly not much I would would change about it it's pretty easy to use they found a way to keep the pump from freezing up on cold mornings by adding winter windshield washer fluid which doesn't reduce the effectiveness of the bleach solution in any way Sheena told us that the design of the system was greatly influenced by the knowledge that club root is transferred by soil. And that's kind of why I only put the cleaning system on the tires, um, because that's the only thing that's really touching the ground. But also, you know, to make sure I, I don't get out of the truck in the field with my, with my shoes on, because, you know, there could be... I mean, the chances of getting club root from my shoes are pretty slim to none, but I guess... 
you know, for me, I just want to make sure I'm doing everything up to par. Sheena and her husband set up the main tank to be easily removed, mainly because over the winter the truck is needed for other jobs. The only thing I have to do is um, take this hose off of this fitting and pull the tank out. It's got four, four bolts that hold it into the, the bed of the truck. So I just take those bolts off, take this fitting off, and take the tank out. And then all you're left with is just this little black hose. And all the plumbing stays in the truck. So in the winter time, um, what I did is I filled the lines with antifreeze. But they will eventually drain out, right, just from gravity and stuff. So I never had any issues with it freezing up. The material cost for the club root spraying system was quite minimal, about $10 a piece for the four nozzles, roughly $100 for necessary length of hose, and two to $300 for the tank and pump. She says it's been a very worthwhile investment, and it's a small price to pay to give her and her customers peace of mind.